Hello everyone, welcome back to Mindy's Best. You guys, I'm gonna be filming a really fun video today about the one thing I get asked about, second to how, how I curl my hair. So today we are going to be learning how do I do my nails? Well, you're in luck because my nails are really grown out and they really need to be done. So I'm gonna take you along the process with me and show you exactly how I do my nails and how you're able to get your that beautiful manicure while we're stuck at home during quarantine or if you're trying to save money from the salon and not go in and get them done. Whatever your situation might be, I'll show you how to do a really pretty gel polish on your own nails. To give you guys a little bit of a background, I've been doing nails for 16 years. Now, that's almost exactly half my life. So I started doing nails when I was in high school. I went after school to my after school nail program, got my cosmetology license doing nails only. I went to a nails only school, so I don't know how to do waxing, I don't do hair, I just do nails and toes. So I spent a ton of time doing uh, acrylics, sculpted tips, all of those varieties, pedicures, then gel polish became a really big thing. Learned how to do gel polish and it's something I have loved. I've been wearing gel polish on my nails since my middle son crew was born and that's been like 10 years. So I love it. I've been able to fine tune exactly the things that work well and how you can wear the long lasting gel polish. Now you're probably thinking, what if I don't have all the supplies at home? Well, there's a few things that you do need that are necessary. I will show you all of those things. I'll show you substitutions for what I use for my like salon equipment. I'll show you what the at home version will look like. Here is the basic things that you're going to need. You're going to need a file, this one, uh, I would recommend a 180 grit. I really like that. That's gonna be best for natural nails. If you have some like old acrylic on or you cannot get your gel polish off, then I would suggest this. This is a 100 grit file. But again, I would not use this on a, na a natural nail. And then of course a buffer. You're going to need to remove the shine from your natural nails to be able to have the gel polish stick to your actual nail. Again, cuticle pusher, um, some cuticle clippers, and nail clippers and a brush. Couple of other things you're going to need, some cotton, some pieces of cotton to wipe off your nails, uh, alcohol and acetone. So those are the things that I use. And of course, top coat and base coat. This is foundation, this is your base coat and top coat that goes over the polish once it's all completely done. Another thing you might want to finish off your gel polish manicure is some cuticle oil to put around your cuticles to make them nice and soft. I personally love this Solar Speed Spray. I feel like it, leaves your cuticles really soft and it smells really, really good. There's also a couple of sanitary things you're gonna wanna know as you're doing your nails. You wanna be very clean. You don't wanna get any infections or funguses or anything on your nails because that can happen. I've never had it happen, but it can. I've seen people come in to the salon when I, where I used to work and I was like, oh dear heavens, where have you been? Your nails are crazy. So if you are doing other people besides yourself, even your own children, you're going to want to use a hospital grade disinfectant. You mix two ounces of that to one gallon of water and that will properly disinfect your implements. These are going to be your implements. So those can be disinfected and cleaned and it's it's really important that you keep a clean space. Okay, so I think it's time to get started. My nails need to be soaked off, so I'm going to get to that. And the proper way to soak off your nails, I use 100% acetone and I'll put it in a glass bowl, heat it up for about 15 seconds and then soak your nails. And then you're able to take a cuticle pusher. You can use a wooden orange wood stick, that works too scrape off the gel, and then whenever you're all done, you just lightly file off the top of that gel just to get it off. And then I will show you guys exactly where to start from point A. Okay, I have finished soaking off my nails and this is what they look like. My nails are very long and that is a big reason why I needed to do my nails is because I wanted to shorten them. I've been unable to type, unable to do anything with them. Both hands have got very, very long nails. Okay, so what I did is I soaked them all off, I scraped them all off and now I'm going to show you how to properly prep the nail so that the gel polish will stick. Okay, so first things first, you're going to push back the cuticle. You wanna get that nice and pushed back. Um, you're gonna do that on every single nail. And then what you're gonna do is take your cuticle nippers. These are really great. They can be very sharp, so be careful not to cut your cuticle. You're just gonna go in and clip right along the cuticle. Now, you don't wanna go too far because you will clip your cuticle and you will bleed. And if you bleed, well, then you've got a big giant disinfectant problem. Now 
if you, you've clipped back your, or you've pushed back your cuticles, you've clipped them, now it's time to prep the nail. So this is when you're gonna take your file, 180 grit at least, because you don't want anything coarser than that on your nail for gel polish. If you were prepping your nail for acrylic, then you'd want something coarser, but we're not doing that. We're just gonna, we're just gonna take it easy on our natural nail. So you're just gonna rub this along the top of your cuticle to try and get off. Your cuticle grows onto your nail, and while you've pushed it back, you'll see there's a little bit of white. That has um, cuticle that has grown onto your nail. So you're just gonna lightly etch it off. You're gonna take your file, and you're just going to go right here at the top of your nail. And you're just going to get off all that extra cuticle just to make it so the polish will stick up by your cuticle right there. You have an electric file, which is a drill, which is what I have for um, from doing nails. You can use that as well. And you can lightly take this all over your whole nail, but once you've mostly got it by the cuticle, you're going to go in with a buffer. These can be found at Walmart, they can be found at Beauty Supplies, they can be found on Amazon. They're really cheap and you wanna go with a pretty soft grit. And you're just gonna go all over your entire nail with this. Just smooth it on out. There we go. See? It's all soft, all smooth, lightly. You're just taking the shine off with this buffer. Now everything's ready. Now all I need to do is clip them down and shape them. And this can be done, I'm just gonna use fingernail clippers. I'm gonna take it super easy. I'm gonna clip them down. Be careful you don't clip too far. You have skin that grows up underneath your nail and you don't wanna clip that down or else you'll be very sad. It might bring a tear to your eye because it's just like clipping your skin. So I'm gonna clip mine all the way off. I've been trying to grow my nails out because I think that this rounded almond shape is so pretty. Finally got it, but guess what? I can't type, I can't do anything on my with my nails this long. So I'm taking them down. I'm gonna go fairly short. I'm gonna square them up just a little bit with rounded corners so that I don't snag them on anything, but we are saying goodbye to this long, beautiful look. Now that they're all clipped down, I am going to shape them. And you're just gonna go back and forth with your file. This is a super soft file, so it shouldn't take off too much length or be too coarse. I'm just gonna shape them. I want them squared with a little bit of rounded corners. I think that's about the shape I want. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Um, I'm gonna save my right hand and do that later. I'm just showing you guys on my hand that works because it's easiest. Okay, my nails are all prepped, ready to be polished and painted. But there's a few things I wanna tell you first thing. I really like the Gelish brand of polish. I have found that for the price, there's the most product in the bottle. I also really like the Shellac brand made by CND. About the same price point, but I will tell you that this has half as much polish as this one has. This soaks off really easy. This soaks off pretty easy too. There's some other brands that don't soak off as easy as either one of these. So I stick to these two. I love them, I swear by them. So today I'm going to be using this color on my nails. It's really pretty, it's called Gossip Girl. I wanted a fun pink for spring, so I'm gonna get ready to do that. Another thing to talk about is lights. So with a gel polish, you do need an LED or a UV light. I have had an, uh, a UV light and it takes longer to cure. So gel polish needs to be cured under a UV or LED light. This is an LED light. I took some um, a couple years ago, I invested in this. They have great lights on Amazon. I will link all of the things to my favorites down below in the description of this video. But I really think that using an LED light is important because it's gonna save you time. Uh, the cure time on one of these ranges from about five seconds to 30 seconds, depending on which coat of polish you're on. The UV light takes about two minutes to cure each coat. So it's really a time saver. This is really simple. This one I really like for a couple of reasons, but I have found several on Amazon that do the same thing as this. This one is a little bit pricier, but when you put your hands in, it automatically turns on. That's really awesome. But there are some, as soon as you slide your hand in, you just push a button and it turns on for 30 seconds. But this one is my favorite, I will say. But you know, I have been doing nails professionally. You know, I invested in this to have an automatic light with automatic timer and everything. So this is what I'll be using today. Now it's time to get started. So I am going to take a little piece of cotton and I have put some acetone on it. So I'm just going to wipe off any excess oils that could have gotten on my nails just so I have the best chance to let this polish stick. 
We're just gonna wipe them off and then we're going to be ready for application. So I am going to use the Gelish foundation. That is my very favorite. Again, it goes along with most bang for your buck. And all of this can be found on Amazon. I usually go in this order and then hit the thumb. We're going to apply a thin coat. It's important that you do really, really thin coats. You want everything to be able to cure under the light. If it's too thick, it will not cure properly. And you want it to cure or else, well, you're just gonna have a sticky mess. So just do a thin coat on each nail. So now I have got my base coat on. It is nice and thin on there. You can tell it's got a nice shiny layer. Now one thing I will tell you, every coat that you do is going to be sticky. So if you were to touch it, it's dry, but it's going to be sticky. So we're gonna go in now with our color. I've chosen Gossip Girl by Jellish. It's a really, really fun pink. And I'm going to apply two thin coats. My first coat I'm gonna put on and then it needs to cure for 30 seconds. Your base coat needs to cure for about five seconds. That's the beauty of the LED light is it cures very fast. The UV light cures in about two minutes. Okay, it has cured for 30 seconds. And this is what they look like. So now this is the first coat, and the first coat looks pretty good. You're almost like, you know what, we could just walk away now. I'm gonna do two coats just to get a nice, solid color and just make it look a little bit more opaque so it's not see-through, there's not uneven parts. But I feel like it looks pretty good, but I'm gonna do one more coat. one hand in here curing. I haven't done this hand yet, I'll do that at the end. But what I was gonna tell you guys is, if this is your first time doing your nails, it's most likely you're gonna mess up a couple times, and that's okay. I've been doing my own nails the entire time I've been a nail technician, so I have a lot of experience doing it. Couple things to note whenever you're doing the polish. Stay away from the cuticle. Don't touch the cuticle or else it will peel away, and then your chances are your whole nail polish will peel off. So stay away from the cuticle. As you can tell, there's a pretty solid line that I have not gone up to the cuticle. And if you do, it's okay. I have a little tiny brush that I use that I just wipe around the cuticle, clean up the line, and it totally works. It works so well to just get off that little bit of polish that you might have messed up, son. So now that I have two coats of polish, some brands, some colors, you can use three. If it's a lighter color and you don't want it to be streaky, do a third coat, that's okay. It's just gonna strengthen your nails. I was able to wear my nails so long because the gel strengthens your nails so much. I was so impressed with how long my, my nails were able to get and the strength that they had in them. Your natural nails can be really, really strong. I know some people that struggle with diabetes or are on certain prescriptions, it makes their nails really weak. In that case, you could do a third coat of this color just to strengthen them and add a little bit of more base to them for the strength. So those are some things to take into account. As of right now, I am ready to put on a top coat. If you want to add a second top coat, so if you, only, if you like the way the color looks, do two coats of color and then do two top coats if you want the strength. Uh, for me, I am, my nails are strong enough that I'm able to do two coats of color and one top coat. So this is also the point if you wanted to do any nail art at all, this is when you would do it. So you can take the back of a paintbrush or you can take a little pin or a toothpick and dip it in a different color of gel polish and do like a little daisy and then put a different color in the middle. However creative you want to get is awesome. Or if you're like me and you just want to go classic pink, now you put on your top coat. Now I'm going to come in with my gelish, top it off. This is the top coat. Just gonna do one thin coat. Again, everything is thin coats. So we're going to come in and just do a thin coat on top of your pink. And what's awesome is because this is dried, it's not on your brush it's just on your nail because that pink has dried because of the, the LED lights. And now you just brush it on, get ready to put it back under the light. And this, this top coat includes a really high shine. They have top coats out there that are matte. Those are really fun and can create a really awesome look. But this one is the shiny one. I really love the high shine that it provides. 
and it just looks like you always have a really fresh manicure. So after I get this on, I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds. In between each coat, it's 30 seconds that you'll put it underneath the light, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do when it comes out. So when I told you one of the items that you're going to need when doing your nails is going to be alcohol, you're probably going, why am I gonna need alcohol for my nails? Whenever you do your nails with most gel polishes that you use, there's going to be a tacky layer on top. And what you'll do is you'll, if you touch it, it feels tacky. Using the alcohol, you just get a little piece of cotton and I just put a little bit of alcohol on that. I'm just going to rub off that tacky layer and it takes it off. And the greatest part is whenever you do this, is that will now make it so your nails are completely dry. You can touch them, you can dig through your purse, you can head out the door, whatever it is you need to do. You can resume life because now your nails are dry. So now you have a beautiful manicure and your nails are all dry and they just look so pretty. I absolutely love this color. I love this product line. Now that the tacky layer is off, we're going to put on some cuticle oil just to keep my cuticles nice and smooth and my hands feeling good. And now they are all finished. So if you guys have any questions on how I, anything to do with gel polish, you guys can leave them down in the comments below. I'll try and answer as many questions as I can. And here's the thing, for me, uh, I kind of talked about this a little bit in my hair video. If I look presentable, uh, even as simple as having my nails polished, it makes me feel so much better. Makes me feel like I can conquer the day, I can do anything. I think every person would agree that having a fresh coat of polish on their nails makes them feel 100%. So try doing your own nails, you guys. It will be a lot of fun. I'll put a list of all of the items you're gonna need down below in the video. And again, if you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. You can also find me over on Instagram, at Mindy's Best. Uh, I'll probably be posting some pictures over there. I also have some nail inspiration ideas that you can check out. Also with links to buy all of the things that I think that are super helpful to get your nails done. So you guys, make yourself feel like 100 bucks a day. Do your nails and give it a try. I know it might sound scary, but I promise you can do it. And of course, as always here on Mindy's Best, remember to do your best because your best is enough. <laughs>